Get fast, reliable internet for any budget. Now qualifying customers can get Xfinity internet free through the Affordable Connectivity Program. That's right, free high-speed internet from Xfinity. And Internet Essentials customers can get equipment included at no extra cost. Get started today. We change our minds every day. About a million things a day. This is no different. You can't be afraid to be wrong. You can't be afraid to say, you know what? I'm just going to rethink this thing. People are not dying getting the vaccine. Um, I, I better rethink this thing. I'm going to go call my doctor and, and have a discussion one more time. It is okay to change your mind. Tina, you have Hello. seen some crazy things happen in my life. You have seen God do some really amazing things. Yes, yes. Okay. You've seen God heal my children from autism. Mm -hmm. You've seen God give us a camping world RV. Yes. They just fell out the sky, man <laughs> from heaven. You've seen God uh, heal Sean and bring him back from the dead <laughs> <laughs> twice. You done seen the Lord. Sent us a letter from President Joe Biden. Yes. The blessing from Michelle Obama. Yes. But girl, I don't think you're ready for this. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I I mean, I know our God is great. And I know uh abundance is uh is in the way. It is 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 in coming our way. So I I I'm I'm excited. What's, what's girl, this is one of those eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. I can't believe it's not but a blessing. I was like, when I tell Tina this, she's going to flip out. So mm -hmm. You know, Brenda's book came out. I know. And one. I, I just, you know, at first nobody would do a story on it. Then it went viral and it got number one. And then we got a letter from the president and it's got all this attention. Uh -huh. And, you know, I, I, and I thought, okay, that's great. That's it. You know, uh -huh. and now the sales have dropped off and it's like back down to number like 41 or, you know, or 22. And it kind of fluctuates, okay. you know, depending on whatever. And so, um, I was sitting here just kind of, you know, thinking and trying to come up with concepts and ideas to promote the book and market uh -huh. the book and get the book in the hands of the right people. And I was on Facebook. Okay. And somebody said, and I can't even remember who it was. They said, you should get Brandon Brown, the NASCAR driver, to put Brandon's book on the hood of his car. What? Uh -uh, Brandon Brown is the driver who won the race when the whole let's go Brandon uh situation happened yeah um and so that was a dog whistle for me you know some okay. people might have laughed it off uh-huh might have been like oh ha 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 i was like lord is it possible is it could could it happen i mean it did you want me to do this and so i heard god clearly in my spirit say yes and so i said okay so i called the nascar people you know that's the route i went first Okay. And I called the public relations department because I figured, you know, I could maybe like use my media. You know, I use my work phone, use my work email. So, mm -hmm. you know, like I'm an official media person. You know, that's my business. That's my trade. And so um, they wasn't really responsive. In fact, you know, the guy who answered the phone hung up. Because he thought I was like a telemarketer. And I understand because I started out like, hi, I'm Shaletta and I have a book and I'd like to find out how, right. you know, I could, girl, click. Click. I, I would have hung up on me too. And then the Lord said, I didn't tell you NASCAR. I told you Brandon Brown. Uh huh. And so I started looking for Brandon Brown and I just didn't see a way to like email him or I didn't see any contacts for him. And I'm guessing probably because of all the let's go Brandon stuff, he gets a lot of spam and, mm -hmm. and all that other stuff. So all of his contact me information on his website was disabled. So about an hour and a half of digging, because you know your friend ain't no quitter. That's right. Um, uh, <laughs> girl, okay. I um I found like his team. 
like you know i guess and i'm new to this whole nascar situation but i guess every car has a team like a pit crew and all these other people uh-huh. so now like the motorsports team that supports him uh-huh. and they had an opportunity for you to send a private message on twitter and so i said hi i'm shaletta brundage um you know i got a book and it, it's all about the let's go brandon flag and how it encouraged my son it's not a political book it's about how to encourage kids with autism and Tina, I don't think it was five minutes later. Okay. I got a response from Brandon Brown and his team. What? And I said, wouldn't it be amazing if y'all could put the book on the cover? They said, how soon could you get us a picture of the book? Whoa. I said, uh, if you check your email, it's in there right now. Because I sent it right there when we was talking. Oh, my God. Okay. And so they said, well, uh, can we meet with you at 2.30 on the Zoom? I said, okay. All right. So we get on the Zoom uh-huh. at 2.30. Okay. This is all happening like boom. Uh-huh. boom. They are going to put Brandon's book on the cover of the car. What? For the race this weekend. What? What time? What? What? If the race is on Saturday uh, afternoon, I think it's on the USA Network. I got to look, girl. All this is happening like as we speak. Oh and so gosh. they're going to put the book on the hood of the car. And then, Tina, look, they said, we want to invite you and your entire family <gasps> to be our guests at the race. What? You're going to be, be our VIP guest. We would like to know if it's okay with you when they do driver introductions, if your brand and, and our brand can walk out together. Oh my gosh, girl. What amazing. That is amazing. I can Oh my God. Look at, Oh girl. Oh my. Well, oh, what did, what did Brandon say? I, oh, <laughs> Girl, Brandon oh. and the kids were just running around the house. Girl, they were so excited. They were just screaming. They could not believe it. And, you know, Brandon, our kids don't really know what the flag was all about. They literally yeah. think that people are cheering for Brandon. So they don't even understand the significance. They're just happy we get to go to a NASCAR race. Yeah. And we're going to be VIPs. And Brandon's going to get to go out on the track. And, you know, yes. we're just happy for that. But if you look at... Changing the meaning of something that meant something so <sighs> terrible to a lot of us, you know, using that to, you know, show this is what Brandon really means. Tina, it was just so amazing how God worked it out. And, you know, a lot of people don't know that Sean is not able to drive long distances in the RV anymore because okay. he has something called Meniere's disease. Oh. And you know that, you know, when we went to Uvalde, you were like, Sean, something's wrong. Well, mm -hmm. uh, I need you to let somebody else drive. You really were getting on him uh, yes. about his health. And so um, I was like, you know, because when they asked us to be VIPs, I was like, well, of course, yes, we'll be there. But in the back of my mind, thinking about Sean's health, I was like, Lord, suppose we got to go to Daytona or yeah. Indianapolis. You know, to drive from Minnesota to Florida is a lot. To drive yeah. from Minnesota to Kentucky or Indianapolis is a lot. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, we'll be there. Of course, we'll be there. Not, not, not letting mm -hmm. them know what the situation was, but in, in the back of my mind, trying to figure out alternatives. And mm -hmm. Tina, that woman said, well, the next race is in Wisconsin. Girl, that ain't five hours away. <gasps> what? <gasps> awesome. Look at God. Look, Look at God. God. Out. Oh, wow. Five, oh, and, and you know, Sean can do the five hours. Do the five hours. <laughs> like nothing. That's like next door. So oh. God just worked that timing out. He worked everything out for our good. I was awesome. just, girl. I, I, I am so... I'm so excited and you know this is amazing. This is it's, amazing. It's just amazing that the, book the exposure and just girl, the book says gonna thought? be through the roof. Yes, who would have thought? Yeah. I yeah. Mean, oh, oh, oh my god, that is going to be awesome. That's gonna be amazing, girl. And you know, we're gearing up to go, we're getting the RV ready. You know, it's in just a couple of days. Okay. And so we, you know, we just have to, you know, because so many moving parts. But you know, the, the the one thing that God is showing me is that we have to have faith. Uh huh. You know, we just really have to have faith and really believe in the incredible, 
awesome power of God that, you know, these big things that we've been dreaming about and praying for are possible if we give him enough faith to operate. Yes, exactly. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? It, the power of just taking that initiative, you know, being, I mean, in, in, I, what I say is, you know, you could have just said, oh yeah, but you know what? You, you made the call. You did, you did what you needed to do. And you don't know what doors would have opened. And that's, this is amazing. Yeah. And I wait for Joe Biden to come and say, Hey, <laughs> <laughs> let me, Brandon, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me come. Also, yeah, I would. I wouldn't be surprised, girl. But but the thing too with this whole situation is, you know, the let's go Brandon uh, flag and, and situation started um, when Brandon Brown won the last time. Yes, girl. Mm-hmm. What's gonna happen when he win this time? And he gonna win, girl. Okay, he I told him. Gonna... I said, baby, you got a pit crew, but now you have a prayer crew because we're gonna be praying for you. To Man, win. Yes. Oh yeah, we are gonna get the prayer warriors. I, oh, you. He he got he got this. Girl, I, I mean, oh, wow. it's just going to be amazing. So we're going to get there on Thursday. We're going to meet him on Friday. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, Brandon's going to get to walk out on that stage. He's going to be down there with the crew when they, you know, uh, do the pledge and sing, you know, oh, the my- national anthem. He's going to have on his little his little race car outfit, girl. Oh. Oh. It is going to be awesome. That is going to be awesome. It is. That is going to Girl, be awesome. I, I am excited for you. I'm excited for Brandon. I'm excited for just the family and just being able to get get people to see this book and you know get get it out there. This is going to be yeah. awesome. It's it's just it's girl. We're gonna break the internet and still get to keep our clothes on. That's gonna be the story of the year. You know what I mean? That's going to be the story of the year that let's go, Brandon, and encourage this little young black boy, nine-year-old black boy with autism to be brave and confident and give him courage and, you know, step out on faith and do things that he never would have done, like swim and take the training wheels off his bike and talk to people he didn't know because he's thinking these flags are people cheering for him and rooting for him. And just the, like you said, the exposure for the book. And then, you know, girl, once we get there, what other opportunities does God have for us? You know what I mean, girl? It's, it's amazing. Just, I mean, it's, uh, uh, be ready. Be ready. Right. Right. Be ready. Be right. Ready. Be ready. Right. Right. And, and, and stay standing because it's harvest time. Yes. You know, and, and I just, I told God, wherever you place me, I, I promise you, I, I want to make you proud. I want to be there. I want to be ready. You know, I want to be receptive. I want to be open. I want to, you know, walk into, you know, they asked Oprah went for one time. What does she dream? You know, what are her dreams? You know, because Oprah seemed like she got everything. So uh-huh. what does she dream? And Oprah said, I want to live inside of God's dream for me. Oh, Wow. I want to yeah. live inside of God's dream. So, you know, before we were even created, God had a plan and a purpose yes. for all of us. And I just want to be where he wanted me to be for this season in my life. Cause life is so seasonal. Yes. And you know, I just think about being there. I'm girl, the kids got binoculars. They're going to be looking at the race. I'm going to be looking around like, where's the blessing? Yes, Who am I supposed to be meeting? Who am I supposed to be talking to? Whose hand am I supposed to be shaking? What deals am I supposed to be doing? Yes. You know, what, what's next? Because, yes. you know, being there in that situation, I, I'm not just content to be there. And being yes. there is a blessing, but there's something else in store for our family that's yes. there. And I got to get that and get it, girl. Yes. And you and you be ready. Be ready to to receive it and 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 know that it was already ordered. Those, already. those steps were already ordered for you. And oh, my gosh, that's I, I'm, I'm excited because it, I know that there's, you know, way more. This is. This is a tip of the hat of if everything that you're about to see. Girl, and that's the thing, girl. God is ready to uh, get us to level up. And I, I just remember like a, a couple of weeks ago, you know, this just happened like yesterday. But oh, a wow. couple of weeks ago, um, the um, the uh, I, I, I was looking at some other websites for children's authors. And this one lady that I really admire, she's an autism mom. She's got all kinds of bells and whistles and fancy stuff on her website. And I didn't have none of this. And so I called a publisher. I was like, I'm on the way down now because I want to spruce up my website. Uh-huh. She was like, well, I mean, is something going on? I was like, no, but I just feel like in my spirit, I need to get it done. And it was like a sense of urgency. Like it had, uh-huh. she was like, well, uh, I said, I'm coming down there with my laptop. She was like, well, are you going somewhere? I was like, no, but I want to do this right now. You want to be prepared. Right. Be, be, be ready. Be ready. And then like on our podcast site, like I just changed the graphics around a little bit. I did a few little things. And, you know, I didn't know why. 
But I just felt like we needed to spruce it up, like, you know, just make it a little, just a little touch. And girl, God saw this coming. Yes. You know, he knew that this was in the plan. So now I'm not rushing to try to get new graphics. I'm not rushing to try to, you know, get the website up and, and get the book stuff done. You know, I'm ready to just walk right into whatever it is that, you know, the blessing that that, mm -hmm. that is in store for our family. Because yeah, yeah. I, I was able to get everything done before we got here. Yes, yes. And you've been planting those seeds. I mean, you've been planting them. They've been, you know, it's now they're blossoming. So, you know, you're getting to see some of the, the fruits of those, of your labor and, and just the, you know, what God can do. So I'm excited. I am so excited to, to just, I can't wait. Look, uh, I, may, I might have to, uh, I might have to fly down to Wisconsin. Girl, okay. And then, girl, I was like, oh my God, you know, with the kids and the noise and all that stuff, I was like, you know, how are we going to, how am I going to move and groove in these situations and still take care of my babies? And so, you know, we got a new intern, Miss Hannah, um, at the podcasting platform. And because mm -hmm. we're doing like book giveaways and all this other stuff, she was like, well, I can come and help out. Oh. And I was like, what? Wow. So and that's going to be a busy weekend too. That's, that's going to be a busy, busy holiday weekend. weekend. Yep. So she is going to come and she's going to ride in the RV with us as we go over. There's a cabin like right across uh, from the NASCAR track and she's uh -huh. going to stay there um, and come over every day and help us out with the kids and the book giveaways. Girl, God is just. Oh my goodness. But I just had to tell you. Oh, Not, oh, no thank you. oh I'm, I'm excited. I'm glad. I, I'm glad. I feel like I'm the first to, to know outside you of everybody. Are. You are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sweetie, where is Sweetie, your niece? My niece, is she is. Hey, girl. Oh, hey. Girl. Isn't this blonde. exciting tweet? It's just, it is. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. That's a blessing for oh, me. Yes. 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 Yeah. We're so proud. We're so proud. We're so proud of you and your and Brandon. Oh, I know. Oh. Uh, you know what? You never know what's go it's going to take, but this is probably something that's really going to bring Brandon to a whole different level. You never know. A, whole, a level up. Yes, a level yes, up. yes. Our yes, yes. whole family. And I hope that it not just does that for us, but I hope it increases everybody's faith to see yes. what's possible, what you yes. can believe and what you can pray for and, and just really have faith that it can actually come to pass. Yes, awesome. that's awesome. That is, uh, I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This All awesome. right, girl. Well, we're going to see you on TV in the winner's circle. You make sure you keep praying for me. I'm going to be on there. You know, my brother is into them race cars. So I'm going to make sure I tell it. The whole family. <laughs> but I said, go look and see. Just go see. <laughs> All right, girl. I will holler at you when we get back. All righty. Have All fun. Right. Be safe. Love you. Love you, too. And thank y'all for tuning in. Yeah. Hey. At hy -Vee, we take pride of being part of the communities we serve. In 2021, we donated more than 14 million meals, and this year, we're committed to doing even more. For over 90 years, we've been the place that people turn in time of need, and we take that very seriously. That's why we're loading our semis full of food this week and making deliveries across the Midwest to help families this Easter. To join our effort, simply donate when you're at the checkout. Together, we can make a big difference for those in need. Children's Minnesota, the leader in specialized health care for kids, is here to raise awareness, standards, the bar, the stakes, the question, the curtain. On raising kids' health to the highest priority, Kids need equal access to health care, more pediatric expertise, a voice for change. Kids need us, all of us. So let's raise them up. Children's Minnesota, the kid experts. When my daughter was first diagnosed with autism, I didn't know what to do because I knew she qualified for services and resources for people with disabilities. But trying to figure out how to manage everything was overwhelming. So I turned to the folks at Acra Home Care for help because for 30 years they've helped families like mine and provided self-guided personal care assistance services and financial management assistance for their developmentally delayed and elderly loved ones. The folks at Acra helped us get a fence so my daughter could play outside in the backyard safely and even showed me how to use the resources to get a trampoline. 
And that's just a couple of the things that Accra Home Care does. Whether it's assisted living, mental health, or home health care, they've got you covered. Accra will make sure your loved ones who need services actually get it. Go to their website at acrahomecare.org or give them a call at 952-935-3515. For millions of Americans, the pandemic impacted our financial situations, and a lot of people lost their jobs. But that should not mean you have to lose your house if you can't pay for your mortgage. Listen, no need to feel ashamed if you missed a payment or two or three, because there's a local organization that's willing to help you get caught up on those payments so you can keep your home. Let me tell you about the Minnesota Home Ownership Center. It's a nonprofit whose sole purpose is to prevent you from going into foreclosure. The Minnesota Home Ownership Center has a network of organizations around the state to review everything with you, explain your options, and then advocate for you to get the help you need. And get this, they won't charge you because it's all free. Check out hocmn.org or give them a call at 651-410-1086 to set up an appointment. You worked hard to get into that house. Let Minnesota Home Ownership Center help you stay in it. All right, did you know I was the Mommy Slam Dunk champion? Really? <laughs> yes, really, don't sound so surprised. Let's see it. Oh, you're ready, all right, here we go. Let's hear the crowd. So go to right, go to left, fake a mom. Mama, go, oh, mama! She did it. Again. You can't avoid gravity, but United Healthcare can help you avoid financial surprises by helping you compare costs and doctor quality ratings. United Healthcare. Uh -huh.